Hi there and welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. For the month of February the tutorials focus is going to be on making dubstep sounds with Massive. Starting today we're going to be making a growl bass that I played for you there on the intro. Cool sort of modulated growl type sound. So we can start off here by creating a new sound in Massive and program the oscillators and the filter section and then the, you're going to use envelopes really to just make that sound come alive and give the, the sound its kind of growl type quality. So we'll start off oscillator 1, we're going to have an M torque wave shape, I'm going to take the pitch down by 2 octaves to minus 24, pull the wavetable position just a little bit before three quarters of the way, intensity stays on full, amp can stay on full and it, the routing can stay routing to both filters here. Um, we'll come to the modulations and stuff later so we'll just set up the next oscillator. So oscillator 2, turn that on and this is going to be a sine square wave. I'm going to put it all the way to the left so we're just getting a sign from this oscillator and we're going to take the pitch down by two octaves, intensity stay on full amp can stay on full again root into both filters so so we've got quite a nice sound already really um the m talk is kind of creating all the grit and sort of like the the raspy quality the dubstepy kind of growly quality and then the sign is just just boosting those those bottom ends really giving us a bit of sub in the sound. So for the filter I'm going to use a bandpass filter. Keep the cut off round about where it is just pointing just just before the C and pull the bandwidth down a little bit and push the resonance up slightly. And then what we want to do to sort of have that movement in the sound is modulate that cutoff frequency to give us that movement. I'm also going to pull the mix slider down to mix 1 and 2, it's halfway between the both, and just pull the volume and filter 2 up. So, we've got kind of a part filtered sound and part unfiltered sound and just having that volume of filter 2 up is just giving us a richer sort of sound, a richer quality on the sound really, more volume and stuff. So I think next we can just set up some effects quickly. I'm going to use a classic tube just to distort the sound a little bit, just drive it. So pull the dry wet down a little bit, the drive down to around the same about value really. And we can set the EQ now as well. and just give a bit more bottom end on the low shelf and just boost some of those kind of lower mids again that's just thickening the sound up a little bit further um, another thing I wanted to set up for the sound really is the modulation oscillator is to turn that on and take the pitch up by 3 octaves to plus 36 and just going to be using the phase mode for this and we're going to be modulating the phase of oscillator 1 so click on the 1 slot there and it has quite a drastic effect on the sound that phase modulation so pull the amount right down so to zero actually for now and then we're going to use an envelope to control the volume of that phase so I think we'll move over to the amp envelope first and just pull the attack right up so we've got a nice sharp attack. So we've got the amp envelope set up, let's just set the voice in quickly, make the sound monophonic, that's all we really need to do there. Move over to the oscillator section, take the glide off and restart via gate, click that. So we've got quite a nice consistent sound each time a key is pressed we've got the same volume on the sound which is what we want for this bass sound really and so next we can start setting these envelopes up so when I was putting this sound together I noticed also the wavetable position of the M torque oscillator it's quite cool when you move that around so I wanted to modulate that with an envelope and also I noticed the phase 
has quite a drastic effect on the sound so I wanted to modulate the volume of that with the same envelope to give it that same shape. So go ahead and click the crosshair of envelope 1 and then if I hold down shift what I can do is assign this envelope to multiple modulation slots and drop it in there and also drop it into the modulation slot on the phase like that. Click off again just into an empty space and that will disappear and so now this modulation, this envelope is modulating the wave total position and the phase, the volume of this phase modulation. So click and drag up for this phase modulator. So we've got the blue line. It's going round about to just past a quarter of the way up. And do the same here, click and drag up. So it's going all the way up on this wave total position. And then we want to change this envelope one here and just back the attack right off to just past halfway. The level can stay on full, decay can stay halfway, push the sustain right up to full and the release can stay pretty much the same really. Just so we've got that attack backed off so we've got that movement and because this phase is such a drastic effect on the sound I want to actually set up a macro to kind of control that so clear that vibrato and click this, click and drag the crosshair, the macro one here, into this second modulation slot. Turn on the side chain, click this line here so we get an upwards arrow. So now we've got a volume control for this phase. So no phase, loads of phase, but we've still got that envelope controlling the volume. And I just want to turn this up a tiny amount. So it's like a really kind of subtle effect on the sound without it, maybe a bit more, it's giving that quite a nice kind of growly quality to the sound there. So that's envelope 1 set up, let's move to envelope 2 now. In envelope 2 I wanted to use this to control the cutoff frequency of the bandpass filter and I wanted quite a similar envelope shape to envelope 1 really but I just wanted a slightly slower attack so I can copy this first envelope paste it into the envelope 2 slot but just back the attack off a bit further here really maybe even all the way so we've got a really slow attack and then click and drag this crosshair to the cutoff frequency click and drag up so it's got all the way so now we've got this if you turn it off getting like a frequency sort of a bandpass sweep on the sound really and it's just giving you the sort of growl sound and really nice amount of movement so the last envelope here envelope 3 we're actually going to use this to make a to give the sound a sort of plucky kind of character on the attack so so you can click and drag the crosshair of envelope 3 here hold down shift and drop it in a pitch modulation slot the first one here on oscillator 1 and the same on oscillator 2 and then we can take the pitch modulation amount up by plus 12 on both of these oscillators so a bit extreme at the moment we're going to make that a bit more subtle we'll take the sustain off of this third envelope here push the attack right up so it's really sharp and pull the level down so about three quarters of the way up and decay to about maybe third of the way So we've got that sort of plucky sort of attack on the sound, almost stabby-like character to it. So it's without it, that's with it. So we can use the attack level to dial in the amount of pluck that we want on the sound. Okay, so the last thing to set up here is the performer to modulate the pitch of these oscillators. So go to this third, this first. LFO slot here, turn that into a performer and we just want to be using four steps of this performer and we don't want any modulation for the first three and then we want to load in a curve, one of these reversed kind of tight sort of curves here and, and we don't really want to use any more of the performer so we can just pull all, all of those other curves down. The X-Fade sequence 
can be pushed all the way to the top so it's only this top sequence what's going to be playing we want to sync this performer as well and put the ratio to 1 over 4 and then we want to modulate the pitch of both of the oscillators using this performer so we can use that same trick again click and drag hold down shift drop it in a second pitch modulation slot of both of those oscillators and then go plus 12 plus 12 so now what we're going to get is this pitch band up on the fourth step of this sequence the level of that pitch bend here and that's our sound really it's all come together the kind of really kind of growly raspy type sound oh actually one last film we can put some feedback on there and just push this amp up to just past quarter of the way just beefing the sound up a bit further adding a bit of warmth and there you have it the dubstep growl Ah, one last thing I didn't show you was this trigger zero reset on all of the envelopes. So each time a new key is pressed, all the envelopes re-trigger. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, then please get in touch. Let us know. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.